Hi guys, this is Pat Stilly and welcome to another Skate from Tarkov video. Today I'm going to be talking about my opinion and thoughts of patch 14 and everything that we know about it and everything I've discovered. So without further ado, let's crack straight into it. All right, so in no particular order, starting off with Ground Zero. So if you're under level 20, you can play on the map Ground Zero. Uh, I've already put out some videos of me doing some questing on there. It's a lot of fun. It is a very difficult map uh, to maneuver and navigate around when you're starting out and uh honestly if that's the first time you play escape from tarkov you're going to run into a landmine in an office nakatani tower fuck off there's g really that is so stupid you know get shot by snipers and blown up by landmines and that so it's going to be quite annoying for that but overall it's over time um, when all the sweaty players are left there, it's going to be a good place for you actually to get some loot, learn how to play the game, and, um, you know, move forward with that. Now, we'll be putting guides out for the Ground Zero map um, over the next couple of weeks, so all those new tasks. But if you want to just check out how to do them straight away, you can see the raid videos I've already put up on YouTube. Next up, this Shoreline expansion. Now, the expansion itself, they've kind of, like, moved some stuff around the... the actual resort is up more on a hill and they've added a new farm area they've added some extra extracts but overall the whole map is got the same kind of vibe um some of the quest places have moved a little bit for example the uav is now in a slightly different spot it's out towards the farm uh, on the road to custom side and there is also now a car extract on shoreline as well so you know you can get some scav rep on there as well now over the streets the btr so i was able to find the btr jump inside there and send off some loot uh, the loot cost to send off the items depends on how uh, valuable the items are. I put in some fairly decent items. It cost me about 40k rubles. It just takes the items away and you get them in your stash one hour later in a message uh, and they're found in raid. So it's really awesome if you've got some quest items and you just want to get them out of the raid so that way you definitely can, you know, have that uh, that quest item, then you're sweet. So, all right, next one, recall. There is a massive change to the recall in Escape from Tarkov. There is a bit of a head bobble, and when I first saw it, it made me feel a little bit nauseous instantly. I was like, what the hell's going on? But I got used to it fairly quickly, and now, honestly, I, I wouldn't want to go back to the old recall system. It just feels way more intuitive when you're shooting. Uh, it feels like the more you shoot full auto, the more the recall happens. Um, but if you do, like, five-round bursts, you, you're pretty accurate. Uh, I haven't shot like many fully modded guns, but I think overall it's a great step in the right direction. I think it feels re very natural when you're shooting at someone, so that's really cool. As for the armory work, now my biggest concern and issue with the armory work was I thought it was going to be really tedious to try and repair, but you can literally just right click and go repair all, and it will repair everything uh, and just very simply. So that part is good. Now, the things that are kind of annoying is this whole armpit hitbox. I seem to just die to it all the time, and it's really frustrating. So that's, uh, I don't know. It is what it is, but, you know, we'll get used to it. That was left armpit! Left armpit! You double tapped me in the armpit, in the one bullet. Absolutely fucking stupid. I'm sorry, but... Now for vaulting, uh, they just did a little uh, patch right then. It's meant to fix some of the issues, but it seems like it's in a really good spot for the starting uh, of the vaulting system. I seem to get clipped on windows a little bit or some fences are a little bit too high and low and it kind of starts with the vault. But if that latest patch fixed that, that's awesome. But uh, it, it does feel very good. I've actually removed my vault to the V key and uh, moved my melee to a different key and then just had spacebar just like it was in the past. So that way I don't have to change my muscle memory on when I want to do a jump and to when I do a vault, seeing that I've played this game so much. The left shoulder peak seems really good. Um, it, you know, you just press the mouse button at the moment, it's the default key and it switches over to the other shoulder. It's very easy to, to do. I haven't really used it much in combat, maybe once or twice uh, in factory, but overall, uh, I think if you're going to hold an angle, you could probably do the, the switch, but you'll generally just go back to the default of using your right hand anyway. Um, but it is a function and it's very simple to use. The blind fire, I haven't touched it at all. Um, but, you know, there's meant to be the new animation, so I have to still look into that one. The achievement system, there's heaps of new achievements. They just happen over time. I haven't really done too much of a dive into it, but I think I've got like five or six achievements so far. Fuck off! Uh, now, they've fixed the viewing stats option. So now you can go into your profile and you can look your overall stats, your PMC stats, and your scav stats. The other cool thing about this is now you can view other people's stats as well. So if you die to a player, you can go to view stats of that actual player, the view of the profile, and you can see, oh, he's got 6,000 hours and he's like a giga chad, right? So you can kind of get a better idea. If someone's like got a brand new account and they're all of a sudden like killing everyone like crazy, then you kind of feel like, yeah, maybe they are a bit sus. 
but like you know they've got like a 40 kill death ratio and all that kind of stuff so it might actually help you with your reporting of sus players but if they're seeing they you've got they've got an account that's got 10,000 hours and it's pretty obvious that they've actually somebody who plays the game a lot as for the new guns i haven't actually tapped touched on any of the new guns so far i do want to eventually get across to doing that and same with the light keep for services i haven't touched on that at all now if you have um bought escape from tarkov before this video has gone out pretty much uh, you should have the new Christmas gift. That gift is available going to by going to escapefromtarkov.com, logging into your profile, and you click the little paperclip button, and then you'll get a message sent in-game, and you'll get the latest of gifts available. Now, one of the big things I was worried about with this patch as well was if uh, or how long it would take for this patch to go across to Arena so you could get the recoil, same recoil, and and vaulting in arena because what's the point of having arena sorry the the recall system in the main game and then you go over to arena would be totally different they've already patched arena and now the same recall system goes across both games so that is actually a big w by bsg now last but not least there has been a lot of server issues and launcher issues this is pretty common for bsg and when the wipe happens sometimes it's like it goes for a few days and sometimes it's been about a week uh, I anticipate with the drops happening sometime in, in about 20 hours time from this time of recording, uh, it's probably going to be a lot of issues. It usually forces or it brings a lot of people into Skate from Tarkov and the servers take a dump for the week of drops. So uh, just brace yourself for the impact because there's probably going to be a lot of that. However, I'll be live streaming across the whole drops period. I'm doing a uh, subathon at the moment. Uh, we'll definitely be doing the first 24 hours, if not 36 hours of drops. And if you want to come over, get some free items and also enter my PC giveaway. I'm giving away five computers on the 5th of January. Just got to pop into the stream. It's free to enter. So um, come say hello, enter the giveaway. And uh, if you enjoy my YouTube content, I'm going to be putting out lots of guides over the upcoming uh, weeks and months. I'm not going to be doing a raid series. I'm going to do like a raid mini series where I'll just go to the flea market so you guys can learn how to go from 1 to 15, um, which will be... Filmed on stream, but it'll be a lot shorter, um, as in the whole series will be a lot shorter, but you'll still get all the same maps and everything. Uh, the hardcore series will come out around the 10th, or I'll start filming around the 10th of January. And then obviously, instead of doing the raid series this wipe, I'm going to do heaps of guides and have some other fun things where I want to bring in some new people that have never played Escape from Tarkov before and teach them the game as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy my YouTube content. Make sure you like and comment on this video. Tell me what you've been thinking about the patch. Obviously server issues, but we don't have to hear that. But tell us what you actually really think about the patch itself. And then also, um, if you like my content, please consider subscribing. I'm going to do a big push to try and get to a million subs this year. So as in this year, I mean 2024. So much love. Um, that's it. I'm live on stream. And lastly, I'll see you next time.